Welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're going to work our way back down towards the last uh, major boss in the game before we do some uh, mini boss cleanup. That's Framped. You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. Quiet, you. Enough. I shall slumber. Yeah, so if you actually talk to him, he'll like, disappear. But uh, we haven't read too much about that. Um, so now we're going down to the catacombs, which is um, a little bit of a tricky area, I guess. Uh, we're going to avoid all this mess in the graveyard. Uh, the main thing here is, well, it's getting a little bit darker, as well as um, respawning enemies, because there's necromancers down here. So there's a bunch of skeletons that you'll find, and some floaty skull things that are kind of terrifying and you can't uh, kill. But um, you'll see here in a second. This guy puts his uh, parrying arm down. So we just killed him. Oh, there's that skull. And there he just reassembled. That's because of the necromancers. So, there's several ways to do this area. You know, you can rush through it, you can bring a divine weapon, if you have a divine weapon, uh, bring that with you, and you can actually keep them dead. Uh, the next thing is you can... Oh, getting caught here. That's not good. Gotta go through here. <laughs> you can kill the necromancers, and then the skeletons will stop respawning. Don't get trapped. Or, um, you know, you can just kind of rush it all. So this will open the gate that we were in in that last room. And I can't rest of that bonfire, which means I'm probably tr someone's trying to invade me. But now, once the necromancer's dead, these guys will actually stay dead. At least the group that belonged to him. <laughs> there are several necromancers in the different areas. Uh, wow, I read that completely wrong. One of these days I'll actually learn how to play this game. But, um... So yeah, you can kill each... Okay. That guy's summoning failed. That's why the bonfire we lit there. The necromancers also don't respawn, although I did respawn the skeletons again. But we're not going to worry about them too, too much, because I'm going to show you a little secret. Okay. So I got grave lorded. That's what happened. So grave lording is what you just saw here, which is um, it spawns extra enemies. It generally only happens on uh, new game plus or higher, and um, it adds extra enemies to the world that appear as red phantoms. And the only way to stop it is to find the grave lord sign, which is a black and white sign, and um, summon the guy in here. Cause whenever he puts that down, it's going to spawn um, these Gravelord enemies in three random worlds, I believe it is, that are, you know, on, the, on a connected server. And they're, you know, these guys are slightly more difficult, but uh, they give the same amount of souls as the regular enemies of the same thing. But generally in your first playthrough, uh, you're very unlikely to see any of these uh, red uh, red phantom gravelord things. It's mostly a new game plus thing, or above. So that was the whole uh, bonfire disturbance earlier. It needed to uh, get all these guys into my world. So just you know, it's sort of PvP, but not at the same time. It's, I don't know, interesting. Call it what you will. Another interesting note, like, uh, if you do the break them apart like that, they, um... You can hit them again while they're disassembled. And... Kill them. Okay, these guys belong to a different necromancer, and I should have known that. 
But anyway, we're going to show you a little trick here. What is that? Now standing here, we can get those guys to basically fall to their death. And also, even um, with lower vitality, see that little ledge uh, right there? Um, I think you need about 25 vitality and full health. But you can go from here and roll off down there. And you'll survive. And that'll bring you to uh, the area we want to go to next. Which is towards the uh, the Covenant for the Grave Lords. Kind of interesting. And there's the... Uh, oop. Got more over here. Yeah, and they don't, they don't replace regular enemies. They... Um, are added to them, which is a really good thing to note. Okay. I am doing all the wrong things. But why does that surprise anyone? I don't know. Reassemble and stay dead. Okay, so let's try that again. Hopefully, there's no more uh, Grave Lord guys in here. But as, as you can see, the area gets darker and darker, which is why we got that uh, one thing earlier. In there. Maybe the problem with not knowing exactly where these guys spawn. But I think we're okay for now. So there's a Titanite demon up ahead, and I promised you we'd finally fight one of those, and this is going to be the guy. Uh, so let's do this, because he has a lot of health. And I think we'll start with these, actually. Why can't I target him? There we go. Because he wasn't moving, really? Was that the prerequisite there? But as you can see, these guys take a real beating. Which, while for the most part on uh, New Game Plus, they're kind of worth avoiding. This guy's blocking something we want to uh, get some miracles in, in this covenant. It's one of the last few things uh, I need for, for an achievement, so. And these. Well, you'll need these anyway if you want to enter the Covenant. You'll need at least one Eye of Death. And then once you have that, there's a coffin... ...right here... ...you can get into. Kind of like the crow thing in the nest before. But if we jump in here... ...and wait... Uh, I'll speed it up, I think it's about 30 seconds. Uh, you'll be taken somewhere else. So here we are in the Tomb of the Giants, or better yet, at the very end of Tomb of the Giants. Because this is the actual soul boss soul we need, but uh, we can't hurt him right now. But you can get a feel for the area, just kind of a more or less circular room with a pillar in the middle. And we will be back here after we finish Tomb of the Giants. But for now, we're just doing the Covenant.
So now I need to offer up 10 eyes of death to get uh, one of the miracles. So I'm going to do that. I'll probably fast forward once again. and It's kind of a slow process. So there we go. We got what we came for, and we are free to leave. So, um, anything else to note in this area? Uh, not really, but uh, we'll head back. So now we're back to where we were in the catacombs. And um, there's a couple ways to go down. Um, you can go that way. Uh, there's going to be a pyromancer. I think there's four skeletons. Or you can uh, take yet another uh, drop down route, which is back where we started from. And. Um, you know, it may seem kind of cheap, but it's not, because there's actually um, items down there to collect and stuff. So as you can see, that one right there. So just walk off nice and gently. And we can pick that up. So these are actually kind of meant to be found, which is kind of odd, because it completely uh, shortens the entire uh, experience here. Grateful Heart Pinwheels. That's just fantastic. Um, there are other ways to get rid of the um, the Grave Lords if you don't find the symbol. Since I skipped most of this anyway, <laughs> I'm probably not going to find it. But um, oh, there's some stuff there. There's a bunch of pinwheels there. That's the way uh, towards the boss. Uh, that way over there, right in that direction, is uh, the third and final blacksmith for, uh, for anyone that doesn't have the DLC. Yep, and there you go. So all the Grave Lord, uh, the Grave Lord disasters are gone, as it says, and that just uh, just means time expired on him. <laughs> they don't uh, they don't stay forever, even if you don't find the symbol. Uh, right now, I think I want to try to aggro these guys so I can run past him, though. If I do that, they should see me. Yeah. That should give me an opportunity just to uh, just to get out of here. Hey, buddy, you want to come too? Well, he's determined to stay there, isn't he? But, uh, yeah, like I said, blacksmith, and... Oh. One of them's moving. Alright, I think it's time to make a run for it, then. And that was a horrible idea. Very horrible idea. Okay, so we're back, and we're going through the fog well, so they can't get to us. Use uh, probably humanities to heal this time, because they don't have that uh, bonfire kindled. Other than that, I think the only thing fairly useful for this fight is protection from magic. Uh, if I can find it, there it is. So I'll switch to that quickly and do some of this. Yeah, got a little bit too messed up by the uh, pinwheels last time. Anyway. So 
But if you just stay locked on to him, there's only one true one. And, uh, you'll be fine. I <laughs> take a little bit of beating, but... Like I did, uh, last time, that's why I made sure I had full health this time. <laughs> but anyway, that's the rate of kindling as well, that allows you to, uh... Raise the amount you kindle bonfires from, uh... From max 10 Estus to max 20 Estus. Nice little thing. But, um... Mm, uh, so this is the Tomb of the Giants. <laughs> and as you can see, pitch black. So, <laughs> remember that uh, headdress I was talking about before that we made sure we stopped and get? Well, that is what's going to come in handy whoops, right now. Look at that. We have light. It's not an incredible amount of light, but... It is definitely better than <laughs> carrying a lantern around. The first few little glowy stones guide you, but beyond that, um, you're pretty much on your own. So I don't know if I'll cut it here or keep going for a bit, but uh, either way, Tomb of the Giants is next. So one of the really nice things about this helmet is that you end up being able to see enemies before they can see you. So it's really easy to take them out at a distance, like so. Very nice perk to have in this area. And uh, these, uh, these little uh, glowy stones for guidance will wear out. And you'll be left with nothing. I forget what that is, but for some reason I thought it was worth it to, uh, yeah, just a soul. These guys don't respawn. <laughs> There's no, uh, necromancers down here, I don't think. So I don't remember there being any. Watch out for a second guy. So I hit the first guy with magic, because I knew number two was coming. Oops. Yeah. Watch for the kick. These guys aren't too hard, you just gotta... The biggest difficulty here is that you're doing everything in the dark. And just trying to remember that first bonfire is. Let's use this humanity here. That way we, we'll be able to kindle up that bonfire anyway. Oh, there's something there. Ah, uh, this guy. So I think the... Yeah, there it is. There's our bonfire right there. There's a ladder for it. And uh, I think we'll cut that here now that we got a bonfire down here. Alright, guys, we'll see you next time.